Fantastic achievement for Leash. 1972, I went back over the records. They won the quarter final in June 4, 1972, beating Offaly by a point. Leash then played Kilkenny in the Leinster semi final and random close. It was Kilkenny 5 14, Leash 5 7, and Kilkenny were to go on and win the All Ireland. So it's a fantastic day, isn't it, lads? Anthony, you've been around Leinster hurling. Great achievement. Yeah, and like before Cheddar took over, Des, I mean, they were in disarray. You know, I remember walking out of Tullamore. I think Dublin had beaten them 30 odd points and meeting Willie Highland on the way out and, and Willie just saying he was fit to give it up, you know, and he's come in and transformed the thing and you see Willie hitting seven points today, it's, it's You've fantastic. You've time for him as a hurler. Ah, yeah, time playing yeah. college's level for LIT, super player. Yeah, you played in the bad days against Leash, well, the bad Leash days, don't look. Yeah, it does, I think it was maybe five, six years ago, Car scored ten goals, I think, against Leash, in, yeah. in Leash, and that was... Obviously a black day, but... You that know, big fella's turned it around, Cheddar. Yeah, if anything, yeah. look, that, that just shows you what Cheddar has done since he's come in there. Like, all the reports is that he's put a, a serious operation in place. Yeah. George Cunningham from Limerick is a, a very good man as well. And it's great to see the likes Plus, of Willie Hyland, Zane Keenan. Saw Zane Keenan playing a couple of years ago and he straight away stood out to me as this guy could be a serious forward. And it's great to see those guys fulfilling their potential. I think his dad played in the match in 72, Jesus, Zane Keenan. Yeah. But like, plus their underage structures Des are a good bit ahead of maybe Offaly's underage structures at the moment. And Offaly need to start looking at that. I know they're on about a new centre of excellence, which will be great for them. But like their minors are very good. Pat Critchley doing great work there. And like their structures are mm. geared towards getting them up the ladder. And they are getting up the ladder. And, and they've given Galway plenty of it in the last two years <laughs> in the Leinster. So they they'll more. be looking forward to that now. I know Galway probably look good, but they'll be looking forward to that. But on, in contrast for Offaly, and Brian Wheeler was generous to leash, but it is a bad day for them. They're in the round robin series now. Yeah, it is a bad day. Look, you're on about hurling men. They don't come any better than, than Brian Whelan. So you can imagine how, how much he, he's hurting tonight. I think, you know, reports are not great in terms of underage in Offaly. And, you know, Anthony was talking about the way Leash are being structured. That doesn't happen by accident. Offaly probably need to start again. Yeah. At, you know, I know they're talking about a, building a, a new centre yeah. of excellence and they probably need to start looking at the underage. They also have a huge challenge, Des, in that. And, and, and sorry, Anthony, they don't have a big pick. Like, yeah. Immokilly, which is a division down in Cork, probably have a bigger pick than the entire Offaly. Absolutely, yeah. They yeah. need to absolutely maximise everything they have. And just interest seems to have... Interest is probably the wrong word. Do you know, but enthusiasm seems to have waned yeah. that little bit and you need that, that fire. Well, in contrast, Westmead have that coming along as well. They've, they're moving up great and they performed well again. But Wexford were the stronger teams throughout that one, yeah? Yeah, like, you, you know, Westmead beat them in the minor uh, yeah. lately, so that was a big boost for them. And uh, they're what? doing, you know, Michael Ryan did a fair old job in the league and, and uh, you know, I'd say pop here with the players and seem to get a good effort. But Wexford were nearly always going to win yeah. that today. And they've, they've won eye. There was a bit of intent in the done eyes there in the interview, I think. Yeah. He's looking forward to going to Nolan Park. And the fact that they're going to Nolan Park might take a bit of pressure off them. You know, people will expect they won't yeah, beat yeah. them in there. So Yeah, and they've been building them the last couple of years. Yeah. Like, you know, you're talking about, you know, Waterford. It was Wexford knocked Waterford out of the championship last year. I you know the season finished maybe on a sour note, but they, that had been on the back of a number of games. And... You know, I just, I just get this feeling that this Wexford team, I know they're structured well. You, the, the man Anthony just mentioned there, Liam Dunn, you know what's going to be in their mind. They're going to be going in there with plenty of determination and fire in their hearts into Nolan Park. There'll be a fantastic okay. atmosphere yeah, there yeah. for that one. It's one to look forward to.